The treatment of type 2 diabetes usually includes oral medication, but with so many choices out there, it can help to know how these prescription drugs work. There are two kinds of type 2 diabetics, people who produce too little insulin and people who produce too much. Medications take these distinctions into account, and prescriptions are available to treat both types of insulin failure. Diabetics who have become resistant to their own insulin can choose from several different types of medication to combat this difficulty. One type of medicine controls insulin resistance by decreasing glucose production. The most common, metformin, is also available under the brand name Glucophage. Another class of drugs increases the body's sensitivity to insulin. One of the more common forms, rosiglitazone, is also sold under the brand names Actos and Avandia. Because metformin and rosiglitazone treat insulin sensitivity, a problem that happens more often in the obese population, they are often prescribed for overweight diabetics. When soprano star Ada Torturo was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, she began taking metformin to decrease her overactive glucose production. Ada's energy and health quickly skyrocketed, and she went on to earn an Emmy nod. In contrast, the second group of type 2 diabetics don't produce enough insulin. When this happens, a doctor will prescribe one of two types of medication that increase the output of insulin by the pancreas. The first type of drugs that increase insulin output can last for an entire day. The most commonly used, gliburide, is also sold under the brand name Glucotrol. The second group of these drugs mimics the natural action of the pancreas and takes an hour to reach maximum efficacy. Available as generic drugs and under the brand names Prandin and Starlix, this group is somewhat less effective and is therefore used more infrequently. Some type 2 diabetics take insulin injections in addition to their daily medication. These individuals may benefit from taking their medication in injectable forms. Sinlin and Bieta are just such medications, which can help patients being treated with insulin improve their glycemic control. Both Simlin and Bieta are taken in injection form prior to meals and may also help patients to lose weight. Each of these medications, or combinations of them, can be extremely helpful for lowering blood sugar. However, it is important to talk to your doctor about the dosage, cost, and possible side effects of each. Not every medication is ideal for every diabetic. So be sure to follow Ada Tortora's example and work with your physician to find the optimal regimen for you. Want to learn more? Check out other videos and sources on this site for more information.